Oh yes, got got uh, a lot of a lot of points here. So a- any society is going to have to stigmatize passport bros. There, there's never going to come a time where passport bros and and men, you know, uh, who are, who are pussy hounds are not stigmatized because no no community and no society can can function and flourish without stigmatizing this kind of behavior because it it is the opposite of, of building up a society, a nation, a tribe, a, a community. It 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 brings in instability and and the the undercurrents of, of moral chaos. So there's never going to be a time where when passport bros and their equivalent are not stigmatized. Uh, just as every society of which I'm aware stigmatizes masturbation because it, it wants men to you know get out there and do something uh, rather than just toss that that life away. Now I don't think mutual respect and empowerment is uh, particularly important. Uh, respect has to be earned, and you can't really have mutual respect if individuals don't respect themselves. And it seems like probably about a third of the population don't don't respect themselves. So until people learn to to build and create a life that is worthy of their own respect, where they they build up a a sense of respect for themselves, then no one else is going to be able to provide that for them. Right? They're, they're just going to be bottomless need, and and uh, they will just you know get into endless endless trouble. Uh, because I'm not a big fan of empowerment and and education. Yeah, these are good things, but they're not top priority. I, as a trad, I don't believe that people are primarily driven by reason. I believe people are primarily driven by genetics, and then people are primarily driven by their early imprinting, right? The the messages and incentives that they got growing up, and then they are primarily driven by the the cues that they get from their community. So compared to those forces, the force of reason is decidedly weak. Reason, reason is a very weak, weak read. So if, if you gave me a choice between someone deciding right and wrong for themselves, right, figuring out meaning and morality in their own head or doing what their grandmother says, I would rather people do what their grandmother says. People will behave much better if they do what their grandmother says rather than if they uh, try to you know, use their own reason and education to figure things out for themselves. So what I, I'm thinking about life in, in Beverly Hills. I spend most of my time in Beverly Hills. And when I walk around, there are a lot of scantily clad women. And I, I live in a liberal society that uh, says, you know, that we, we should be putting an ideal on leading a Buffett identity so that if, if I go to work or walk down the street and there are scantily clad, you know, women with their, their breasts hanging out, I am expected to act com- completely unchanged than if they were, you know, dressed demurely. So this is a, an epitome of this liberal Buffett approach to life. So that what's going on around me is not supposed to affect me. And I'm, I'm not supposed to allow my eyes to flit for even 0.2 of a second. We are incredibly sensitive to where people's eyes go. And if you walk down the street and you start even letting your eyes wander for 0.2 of a second, other people pick up on it. And so we're, ex- we're expected to have this incredible level of uh, self-control and self-discipline that's imposed by the, the Buffett identity, because if we were to stare, it would make other people feel uncomfortable, and then we would be stigmatized as a, a pig. So many men want a different type of uh, relationship between men and women. All right? they're, they're tired of going to work where women may dress to kill. But if a man, man uh, says anything about how, how they're dressed, then he's the bad guy. He's the one who gets in trouble with HR. So she can sexually harass him with the way that she dresses, but he can't make any comment about it. And so for some people, they just have enough of this liberal Buffett identity. The, the traditional perspective in, in life recognizes that uh, our reason <laughs> operates within our body. And our body responds to stimuli such as, you know, uh, scantily clad women. And so in a traditional perspective, yeah, both men and women are expected to act modestly. So men should not flash their, their money around, right? People should uh, speak in a, a modest fashion and, and women should take care to dress in a modest fashion because a, a traditional perspective in life recognizes how much that we affect each other. Uh, had a 
yeah, let me think. So it, it's hard. It's hard from the modern liberal perspective to make the argument against same-sex marriage. It, it's hard from the modern liberal Buffett perspective to make the argument against uh, pursuing a trans identity or pursuing your, your sexual kicks or exploring your, you know, your various uh, sexual orientations because the, the liberal perspective is so individualized and it's about uh, pursuing your own individual happiness and just, just follow your bliss. So if that's truly the ethos, which is a dominant ethos in America, stemming from the Declaration of Independence and going back to John Locke and the whole philosophy of individualism, you, you'll inevitably have these disruptive patterns. But if a society is going to thrive, it has to stigmatize these, encourage people to form bonds with one another. And when you form bonds with other people, when you connect with other people, you get on the same page with other people, develop a rhythm with other people. Out of that always comes an ethic, and that ethic will stigmatize the, the sexual adventurer because the adventurer throws chaos, throws, throws a grenade into a civilized society. I, I notice in synagogues, for example, one person gets divorced, and it usually kicks off a whole string of divorces. It, it's in, incredibly destabilizing. Right? If, if your friends are divorced, you're highly likely to get divorced. If your friends are committing adultery, you're highly likely to commit adultery. If your friends are cheating in business, you're highly likely to cheat in business. So if you're going to have any kind of stable, uh, civilized community, it's going to have to stigmatize that which introduces chaos.